promise kept. Barbados style. Speedway slither. Those are the top stories this week under the Pedestar. At the 2012 dealer announcement show in Las Vegas, Chrysler Group LLC Chairman and CEO Sergio Marchione thanked the company's dealers for upholding their end of what he called a promise for a promise. Chrysler's promise to develop great new products in return for their continued support. But the hard work isn't nearly over yet. This is what we do. We build cars and trucks, solid, beautiful vehicles that customers want to buy. We cannot afford to stop now. We cannot afford to rest. We need to stay focused and engaged in order to remain on track. We need to continue to execute flawlessly. After the day-long session where dealers were shown a rash of upcoming products, they were genuinely excited. He's talked to the dealers openly and honestly and, and has gotten across to us what we need to do to grow our business and what we need to do to support them. And they, as he said, a promise for a promise. Well, he's kept his end of the promise. We need to keep ours. With the product they have coming out, we had the ammunition. Now we just have to follow through and make sure we do it. But one new product kicking up a lot of buzz is the 2013 SRT Viper due out later this year. During a media ride and drive event at Western Michigan's Gingerman Speedway, SRT brand president and CEO Ralph Gilles said, with the new generation of Viper, owners have more choices than ever. Well, the whole idea behind the Viper now is you can, you can really make it your own custom vehicle, as well as having one of the fastest, most beautiful supercars in the world. So really, I think it's going to be a, a car lover's delight. Sticker price for the 2012 SRT Viper was announced at $97,395, excluding destination charge. A mixing fashion with function is the new Chrysler 300 John Varvatos Limited and Luxury Editions, named for and inspired by Michigan native fashion designer John Varvatos. I love what's been going on with the brand over the last few years, and it's kind of uh, rebuilding and raising the bar. I think it's really probably that I find most intriguing is how high they've raised the bar in terms of everything that they do from a quality standpoint, from a design standpoint, from a fit and finish standpoint, um, and a creativity standpoint. I really feel like, you know, they are really gearing themselves. They want to be the best in the world. They don't want to just compete with American car makers. They want to compete at a world level and they want to be the best of, the, of that level and I'm super impressed with that. And those are the top stories this week under the Pentastar. I'm Ed Garston reporting for Chrysler Electronic Communications.